Baked squash, tomatoes, and potatoes is one of my favorite side dishes because it is an all-purpose side dish. It will literally go with anything. I'm gonna heat up two tablespoons of olive oil. My pan is on medium here. To that, I'm gonna add one sliced onion. Now, what we're looking for here is nice, tender, slightly caramelized onion. This is gonna provide wonderful base flavor for our dish. Now this dish in French is called a tienne, and that just means that it's layered baked vegetables. And because everything bakes together in the same dish, the flavors meld, it becomes caramelized. Add a touch of salt. You wanna make sure you get everything nice and coated with the oil. Wonderful. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna finish slicing up my vegetables. So I have two tomatoes that I've already sliced here. I have two Yukon Gold potatoes, peeled and sliced. This makes a wonderful side, again, for a dinner. Pair it with a salad the next day when it's slightly chilled. And for a tien, which is just a layered baked vegetable dish, I find that it's somewhat helpful to go ahead and make a couple of layers on your cutting board. And this way, you don't have to plot out where things are going. So we'll start with the potatoes. You can also make sure you get everything seasoned really evenly. Season with salt, very important here. You wanna make sure we have flavor at every single level. Next, we'll do the squash. And if you don't have the exact number of squash, if you're short a few, don't worry about it. Once it gets in the pan, there's a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm gonna season these up, check on our onions. Getting there. Now, the tomatoes. This is also really great if you have extra hands in the kitchen. I find this is a fun task. People like to arrange things like this. So these tomatoes are nice and juicy and plump now, but by the time they're finished cooking, they're gonna become caramelized. So, so tasty. Season, and these onions are looking like they are ready to go. So to assemble, take a nine by 13 dish. To that, add your caramelized onions, spread it along the bottom here, and then we'll add all of our layers. Now, the great thing about arranging them ahead of time is that you can just plop them in. So we wanna keep them shingled slightly. You don't wanna keep them completely stacked. And that way, there's more surface area for all the vegetables to caramelize, cook evenly, be extra, extra delicious. Last row. So just make sure they're sort of evenly spaced. Finishing touches. Make sure we have pepper. To that, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of fresh thyme leaves. This is gonna add a really nice flavor. It goes so nicely with tomatoes, potatoes. Wash as well. This looks so great. We're just gonna drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. This is gonna really help the vegetables caramelize, crisp up. This tienne is a great way to get a serving of vegetables in a very pleasing way. The squash has almost no calories. Tomatoes are just full of that rich, tomato-y, wonderful goodness. Potatoes give you a little bit of heft. Now, add a little bit of Parmesan, two tablespoons. So this is a pretty small ingredient list, but the flavor is out of this world, you'll see. To bake this, I'm gonna wrap it in parchment lined foil. This is gonna give time for the vegetables to become a little bit more tender before they caramelize. So wrap it up tightly. Nice and snug. And bake this in a 375 degree oven for half an hour. At the half hour mark, we're gonna take off the foil and let it continue cooking for another half hour. Mmm, smells great. Let it cool down just a bit. The vegetables are so nice and tender, you can really just cut them with a spatula. So this is a delicious side dish. This is also really tasty with fried eggs. Put it on toasted bread. It is that all purpose. All the flavor in one pan. Looks great. Let's give it a try. Make sure we get everything. Mmm, really tasty, so juicy, caramelized. These are the simplest ingredients and a really healthy side dish. Hi, and thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to receive weekly Eat Clean videos, click here or click over here to keep watching more recipes.